December it's where the old man with the white beard comes you know um I've already prepared my shoes for chocolate <clears throat> of course um but yeah yesterday I actually explained what this video is really gonna be about like just a bit of background story but it was so dramatic like like I acted so dramatic and I don't wanna do that to you so I'm gonna explain it again and then I'm gonna put this clip um, into yesterday's clip like you know so you're gonna see me at the beginning with this outfit and now you're gonna see me on the 6th of the, with this outfit so yeah I'm just time traveling kind of um, but yeah anyways so this video is about my boyfriend being in quarantine he's not sick there was just a person in his school who was positive, I mean, in his class. It was also in the newspaper, that's sick. Um, and now the whole class who is with this person in that subject has to uh, be in quarantine and they get tested on Wednesday. Um, and now I'm not gonna be able to see him until... Friday, kinda? I don't know. It depends on how fast the test um, is gonna be done um, but yeah you know the results and stuff um, so yeah I am here being sad and lonely um, but yeah anyways I mean we are still phoning like we call each other every day at night and just talk a bit and we also text but obviously it's not the same um, and I miss him a lot and I know I kind of act like I'm not going to be able to see him for a year but to be honest my anxiety has been really bad lately and I was really looking forward to this weekend just you know just to spend with him um, but now I'm not able to yeah but you know what it's maybe like it's kind of a sign that I shouldn't let myself depend on other person like not because I can't trust him or anything, not because of that, just because of, you know, I should be able to help myself and just um, kind of, you know, just help myself up. So yeah, that's actually what, what this video is going to be about, like kind of my life when I'm not with my boyfriend, because usually I'm with my boyfriend like every day after work, school, like he goes to school and I work and um, yeah, we spend our evening together every day. And then from Friday to Sunday, all day. Yeah, um, <laughs> it sounds pretty much, but it's not. It's not. We are both pretty clingy, so it's fine. Um, we enjoy each other's company, you know. Yeah, and now we're going to go back, like, forward to 6th. So if you are not going to see me tomorrow, but for me it's tomorrow. I mean, it's not tomorrow because it's yesterday. Bruh. You're gonna see me later in this outfit again getting ready and talking to you yeah by the way like i said um i also bought a new mirror and this is it we actually i'm wearing my boyfriend's um joggers <laughs> actually it fits really good like if you like he is almost two meters tall i mean okay 190 and i am 155 <laughs> he's like as tall as maybe that guy from kissing booth and i am like the girl from kissing booth that's like yeah that fits pretty good and i am wearing his 
like it fits really good actually like it's a bit baggy but i like it and actually this t-shirt is um it's also my boyfriend's but i wear it like i think he has never worn it um and i don't think that he knows that he actually owns a t-shirt like this but that's fine he doesn't have to know um but yeah that's the mirror it's actually pretty cute um and on the back is like you can just kind of hang jewelries or something jewelries jewelries no i can't pronounce it i sorry um but you can hang that just you know there it's cool um we went for a walk and my mom and i are gonna do some christmas stuff we're gonna decorate our apartment house whatever um so yeah that's what we're gonna do now <laughs> to work like it's fucking sunday i just can't get a good sleep without my boyfriend cringe content i think my mother was looking forward to waking me up so what she gonna say now because she said that i have to be awake at like 9 a.m i should wake up i know that she loves like you know coming into my room when i'm asleep or just laying in bed and just turning on the lights and just waking me up for no reason and I'm like I have human rights but now I'm already awake so she can't wake me up um for today's plan I don't know I don't really have plans I would usually wake up and just spend some time with my boyfriend eat something for breakfast and then watch a movie and then we would go out and play some pokemon go because yes we are that kind of bad boys and girls and still play pokemon go which is yeah let's not talk about that um and actually that's it like we would just come back and watch a lot of movies or tv shows um spend some quality time with each other i would probably annoy him because that's my main job in the relationship um besides you know being there for him but that's just on the side i'm more like that kind of person who makes his life hard but not just his life so it's fine mission that's so not fair Bro, I would never, I could never do a long distance relationship. I would probably end up moving to my boyfriend's place after two weeks of relationship. I couldn't do that. I mean, I could because, you know, love is stronger than distance. But my mental health would just disappear. It wouldn't be existent anymore. Make some coffee and because I'm kind of, um, so there is a thing about me. Um, that actually everyone knows who knows me, like, knows me a bit better. I'm a sucker for caffeine and coffee. Like, I can't go into a day without having a cup. Like, really. I just, like, okay, maybe sometimes if I wake up at, like, 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. after having, like, 10 hours of sleep maybe i could but especially if i wake up at this time if i wouldn't have coffee right now i would get so frustrated and pissed off at like 12 p.m or 11 a.m already so in like three or four hours you can't believe that like i know that I am probably having issues with caffeine and that's not good but 
I love coffee, so I'm kind of accepting it. It's not something that bothers me. It is what it is. I'm, I'm gonna have some coffee right now and maybe something for breakfast. Uh, we have some Hungarian bread because you know that's not the same. And the German one, that's not the same. Um, and then I don't know what I will do. I kind of want to chill more today than I did yesterday because yesterday was kind of a busy day. Even though I haven't really done anything, but I wasn't really at home. But when I was at home, I had to help my mom or something. So I had like 30 minutes where I could sit in the bed um, and watch something. Actually, it's not my room. It's my, it's our guest room. Um, because like I said, I don't know if I said that because my room is actually separated from the, from the apartment. It's in the same house, but it's like above the, the apartment and I just feel better when I'm with my family here downstairs, you know, but I love being in my room when my boyfriend is here, but now he's not. So, um, I'm going to get ready. Actually, I have some plans for today. We're going to go to my nephew's place. I mean, I hope kids aren't watching my videos. Like, I don't want to expose anything. <laughs> I don't want to destroy their childhood, to be honest. Um, but yeah. I know Santa, you know, I don't know, it is Santa who's coming today, I don't know, haven't met him, great guy, people say, um, but yeah, and we're gonna go with him to my nephew, who is literally the cutest kid ever, like, literally, because I am kind of a person who had no feelings towards kids, like, when they were crying or anything, I was just like, Shut the fuck up, bitch. Like, literally, there was no kid that I looked at and I was like, oh my god, that's so cute. Even Kylie's kid. Like, no. Like, I have just, you know, it's a human being. It's existing. It's nothing special. But then I met my nephew and literally, I remember when I was um, looking after him and I had to, um, I went to the bathroom and I had to shower him, like, you know take a bath and he started crying and he couldn't talk he was like one year old or something like that and then I ended up crying with him like yeah I don't know um it's weird it's weird I was actually really scared like what what if I'm gonna be a mother and but like I have not really any feelings for children <laughs> like <clears throat> I was a bit scared but now I know it's not me it's the other children they just can't get me you know and that's not my problem um but yeah anyways um he's actually kind of making me wanna have a baby not gonna lie um actually i have to open my christmas calendar today is the sixth so it's better be oh i actually i i know what it is actually there is an ariana grande for a few minutes and sixth is like so huge and i thought that maybe the perfume is in it but no, it's a fucking mask. I mean, it's cool. It's like a gold mask. I, I mean, I wanted to do skincare today anyway, so maybe I could try it. Um, but yeah, that's a catfish. It's actually on the 24th, I think, the perfume, which is cool. I actually sneak peeked. <clears throat> I spoiled myself. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna get ready. I don't even know what to talk about. I don't even know if I'm gonna put like the whole video in it when I'm getting ready. I also kind of wanna watch like YouTube or something. But first, I also wanted to say thank you to all my friends. Like literally, I uploaded my first vlog, you know, like besides um, besides the Ariana vlog. And I swear the support was, bro, like, it's insane. I thought my video is gonna get like 20 views or like 50 views or something like that. And maybe like some of my friends are gonna follow me. But actually, I started at 15 followers and now I have almost 50, I think. Yes. And my video has already 400 views. That's sick. And so many people shared my um, video on their stories. So I was so freaking happy about it. Like, 
<laughs> thank you like literally like that's just insane like really insane i'm so happy about that um i actually ended up sharing it too because i actually didn't really want to share it because um not really because i'm embarrassed or i'm ashamed of it because obviously i'm not i don't really care what people are gonna say like you know oh my god that's so cringe well i'm a cringe person so it kind of fits me um <laughs> so i don't really care about that but i didn't want to make a big deal out of it yet like you know i'm just kind of doing it because it's fun i'm having fun while doing it but i didn't really want to really put it on my story and stuff like that but then my um friend ended up putting on his story and then my other friend also put it on her story and then my boyfriend put it on her, uh, his story and then i was like you know what i'm gonna share it too because you know who cares everyone knows now so it's fine i mean i just can I can share it too because it's kind of the same thing uh, because especially my boyfriend and I have kind of the same like not the same friends but almost the same followers so it really doesn't matter so I'm not really giving the energy you know I actually wasn't really planning on doing my hair but I actually Lately, I hate my natural hair. Like, they're kind of wavy, but like, ugly wavy. Like, they're just not playing on my side. Let's just say that. Usually, when my boyfriend sleeps at my place, I never wake up this early. And I am, ne I am never this productive this early. Because he prefers to sleep until like... 10 11 a.m like when i wake him up at like 9 a.m or 8 30 he's like what the fuck are you doing just sleep woman like actually i i have this tree here that's right christmasy but like this tree looks so sad <laughs> i think that tree is like older than i am yeah it's an old wise tree we love him this is kind of my outfit for today i mean not like for the whole day because obviously i'm not going with joggers um to my nephew i will probably wear some jeans maybe i will show it later i have some christmas socks on they don't have a hole in it so i can show it <laughs> um but yeah and i'm actually wearing lunges um underwear i can show it just a little bit you know i'm not exposing myself i'm not doing any porn here but it looks like this it's like brown and the bra it's like kind of a sport bra kind of thing. It's so comfortable. I can really suggest it. You know, if you don't want to have like Calvin Klein's or it's too expensive. I mean, it also kind of costs like 18 euros. Um, but it's still not 25. <laughs> so, you know, and still very good quality. I can really. Now I'm just going to probably chill a bit in my room and not do anything i'm gonna kind of try to catch up with all the vlogmases that i've been watching like for my favorite youtubers kind of because everyone has been posting vlogmases and i have to watch like five or even more i don't know yet um so i'm gonna do that this is actually our puffed animal his name is weed okay you won't believe it happened so I told you guys it's the 6th of December so you know it's day when Santa comes and stuff like that and I actually didn't really realize when I said in the morning that I've prepared my shoes it was already too late but I didn't get any chocolates so I'm kind of I'm kind of upset like Santa just forgot about me it hurts I'm not gonna lie I wanted my chocolate so now Santa has to make it up. Santa came. I got some chocolate, so everything's fine. I just got out of the shower and now I'm gonna put my face mask on. Don't hate on me, I'm gonna do it with my fingers. Um, just because it's, it's just easier. To be honest, ah, oh, it burns. To be honest, I've been using those um that moisturizer. 
that I got off the Christmas calendar and I don't know my skin feels so weird like I don't know how to explain it. I'm not I'm not I don't know why I'm doing this with my left hand I'm right-handed the fuck um but anyways my skin feels so weird <laughs> like it got so dry because I've already I already have super dry skin <gasps> no. and now it's even more dry than it is usually it's not really moisturizing it kind of like um the rest water that is left in my skin just sit out on my skin and it actually does the opposite to my skin than they than what they promise so um yeah i stopped using it and now i have to kind of fix my skin again because in winter i my skin acts like a bitch to be honest because it gets so dry and like i said i have super dry skin as a child i had so many problems with it um but also my parents because they had to buy like special body lotions and stuff like that and they were really expensive and i went to um a doctor so many times but that's also why i actually started getting pimples with i don't know i think i was 16 kind of 17 and now that i use much more makeup i get like when i'm getting on my period but yeah that's why i only get like i would say five times out of 12 because you know you get your period normally every month but i don't really get pimples like every month like this month i hope i won't because i still have a scar here and i have a scar here so i hope i won't get it this month I made some salty um snacks because i have to because yeah my mom told me because kind of i'm the only one who can do that because i've learned a recipe at school and i don't know i ended up trying it at home and it tastes really good and now i always have to do that even though the recipe is like the easiest thing you can ever learn but now it's kind of kind of became my thing well i have to deal with it but it's fine um and then i'm gonna play some games with my parent parents and i'm gonna call my boyfriend I wasn't expecting that and when I saw them when I was going upstairs I just sort of started crying out of nowhere because I was like I want to see my boyfriend right now I just need a hug you know not from anyone I need that from my boyfriend but I can't have it so yeah 